Welcome to Totally Awesome Outdoors and this is another bushcraft video for you guys. I am actually in my bushcraft camp that I've been building over the past few months. Many of you have followed me on that journey which is really really cool. I hope to be getting back to do a proper bushcraft camp update video really soon. Uh, but this is more of a shorter video just on something that, quite a practical thing really that I've used quite a bit. Um, I may not have shown it in my videos but I do actually um, use it uh, just in the background really and it's basically just a simple gear hanger um, just using trees and things around you because when the ground is damp or when you want your gear at about head height so if you're bending over all the time uh, it can be quite you know difficult to keep going but bending down picking your pack up picking things off the floor first thing you want to do is find a tree and uh, some cordage so what I've got here is literally just a probably about four foot length of rope you can use paracord um, twine any kind of cordage you've got on you, you could use natural cordage just as tree roots and things like that if you if you want to uh, forage around for them, it's completely up to you. But for the sake of this video I'm just using some fairly thick rope. It's not ideal for tying knots because it, it can slip this material, I'd probably prefer using slightly uh, tougher stuff but just for the purpose of this video I am using four foot length of rope. Uh, here's the tree that I'm going to um, use to my left just here, probably to your right on your screen and all I'm going to do is tie a Siberian hitch knot um, and just leave the rope there and then I'll show you what I'll do afterwards but I'll show you quickly just how to tie the Siberian hitch. Okay, first thing that you want to do is put the rope around the back of the tree like this. So I've got two ends, I've got an end here and an end there. Then all I'm going to do is laying the rope across my hands like this. Apologies if the sound is different, I'm standing behind the microphone. I'm going to take this end here, wrap it around my hand like that just once. Then I'm pinching down here with this hand. From here, I'm going to twist under this hand here, this end here, underneath this, like so. Twist and turn, and then grab the same end that you started with here, and pull, this acts as a loop, which you can see I'm creating here. At this point, pull towards you with both ends like this, just work them, and you'll have what looks like basically a loop. One of the end is a quick release loop and that's here that pulls this loop out you don't need to do that yet so you grab this end and you pull it towards the tree and then across itself and I can pull as tight as I want on that now and that is not going to go anywhere but to then take this out all I need to do with this end is just pull that loop and then it's free okay so all I've done here is got myself four uh, four sticks basically, I'm only going to make four hangers, but as you can see what I've done is I've snapped off branches and I've got each one where there's a shoulder joint with a branch coming out to the side and a thicker branch in the middle. I've left about maybe a foot, probably eight, eight inches or so uh, above each knot. So there's a knot there, nearly a foot there, sort of a knot there, foot there. Uh, this is the basics of what you need as hangers. Um, all I'm going to do now is tidy this up a bit and just get rid of these extra bits, these shoulder kind of joints of the branch to the sides here uh, as the only one I'll really be using is this one here and I need this to be flush against the tree so I'll just clear up these branches here, strip off the bark of it as well just to tidy it up a bit and then uh, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I've tidied these all up now. Hopefully you can see uh, that they've all got the same shape, pretty much all the same length. Obviously, guys, you can do this how you want. You can make them different lengths, different shapes. Um, I've left about four inches, uh, three to four inches on each kind of branch um, that comes out. Probably tidy these up as well a bit in a minute. Okay, sticks are all tidied up now. Um, I've slightly shortened them a bit, just personal preference, really. I don't really want long ones, but you can have long ones. All I need to do now is make notches uh, on the same side as the fork side so on the inside here on the inside here just a little notch about an inch down from the top um, on each of the sticks and then they're ready to go Ok 
Okay, so I've finished the uh, notches now just with a few slice cuts and stop cuts. Um, as you can see, they're on the same side as the fork down here. This is the uh, what this is where I would hang my gear, and this is where the rope will go that's around the tree. Uh, so all I need to do now is loosen the rope a bit, place these on there, and then I'm ready to hang my gear. Okay, so all I need to do now is loosen the Siberian hitch, which I've done. Very simple to do that. You just hold here and you pull through the rope. Now I've got uh, a loose enough line, basically loose enough rope. I can slip the notch through there, pull it tight, and as you can see, even if I move that knot round a bit, just so you can see a bit easier, pull it tight. That is super tight, that's locked up against the tree now, and you can see that any weight that's on there, I can hang any gear I want. I've done four of these, so I can uh, place these around the tree. I can keep my camera off the ground, I can keep my backpack off the ground, any cooking utensils, pots, pans, things like that, I can just hang them on here. And the benefit is they're lightweight, they're small, and I can use them in the, uh, just pop them in my backpack and use them as I travel. So I'm just going to loosen it again and place the other four on, dotted around the tree. There you go, pull it tight, like that. And all I've got there is two, basically two quick release loops, but now this is really tight around the tree and I can't pull that down. So I know that it's really secure, the knot's not gonna slip. But when I wanna pull my gear out and get my gear and pack away, I just have to pull on this tag end, pull on this tag end, everything come lo comes loose and it all is done really quickly and I can go. So everything's tight and secure now. There's, I can put a lot of weight on this and it's not going anywhere. I've done my two loops, so I've got a quick release loop, just a normal quick release loop, Siberian hitch, all I have to do is pull the tag ends, this will all come down straight away and I can pack up, take it with me, move on to the next spot or just take it home. So time to put some gear on it and put it to the test. As you can see guys, I've put pretty heavy stuff on here. I've got my whole pack on here which has all my bushcraft gear. Um, I've got my camera bag, I've got my axe, I've got my water bottle, water container which is full of water, as well as the cook system in there. Um, so there's a lot of weight here and that's on spread around all just four of these things. Obviously if you're hanging things like pots, pans, um, axes, lighter, slightly lighter things, you know, it works a treat. But you can see that the test from just this bag alone along with the camera bag and the other equipment it's holding up absolutely fine um, i hope you enjoyed the video guys just something you know a little bit different so just quickly to uh to let this all down all you do is you you take your first quick release loop that you made you pull that through that's released all the the main tension pull it back through here and then to release the final loop you simply pull the quick release loop here give it a tug there we go that's free, all the pieces and the uh, hangers come off, you've got your rope, you're ready to store it, wrap it away, um, you can actually use the rope that you've got, tie it around the sticks, keep them all together, that way it's all streamlined when it goes in your pack. Um, if you haven't watched my bushcraft camp series of where uh, I, I am here at the moment where I practice bushcraft in my camp, that I, I did make a series straight from the scratch of when I first started building the camp, I'll pop a link in a box just up here and you can click through. I think I'm on about camp update six. I'm currently about to film camp update seven. So go and uh, watch those videos. Hope you enjoy them and check out some of the other bushcraft videos as well as some of the other videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks very much guys. Thanks for the support and uh, keep watching.